Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to today's video. I'm going to be doing a hair video today. I feel like I haven't done a hair video in like months and months, so I thought it would be a really good time because I just got something in the mail the other day. I won a giveaway on Instagram, and I won it from a fashion blogger called Blushed Darling. She's so sweet. She has amazing hair. So thankful and grateful that I won because it is something that I have been wanting to try for ever now it's super popular and super hyped up so i'm talking about the t3 convertible curling wand so i'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere it's literally something that every single fashion blogger owns and if you follow fashion bloggers you know about this so it comes with a convertible base and then you can swap out the attachments so i won the base and i won three attachments from her so the first attachment is the tousled waves and this is um like a tapered tapered barrel which is similar to what I already own so this is the one that I'm going to be testing out today this curling wand has an insane price tag on it it is for the whole set with the base and the three attachments it's $270 I know it's so crazy to think that a curling wand could be that much even though you do get three attachments which which is quite a lot and I'm so interested to see if this is worth it and I'm gonna actually be comparing it to my tried and true trusty Remington pink curling wand I have had this for so long I've had this for oh my gosh maybe like six years seven years and it's my favorite I love this one over other curling wands that I've had before that are like straight this is actually tapered you guys probably own this i'll link this down below it's like 25 dollars on amazon they have it at walmart they have it at target it hasn't died on me it stayed good mine's like so beat up because i use it literally every day every other day oh if you guys want to find out what i think about the t3 just keep on watching i'm gonna get into it right now and don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet it's gonna be linked down below and nothing to my hair it's well i blow dried it i did do something to it i kind of let it air dry and then i just blow dried it a little bit i'm just gonna take this headband out so i'm gonna do my hair the way i always do it which is i split it so i do half up half down so i'm just gonna take half my hair and i'm gonna work on the bottom section first and i think what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one side with the T3 and one side with the Remington and see if we can tell the difference but I'm gonna do the T3 side first because I don't want to have two curling wands plugged in and on at the same time I don't know it just sounds dangerous <laughs> to me so um, that's what that's what we're gonna do I just clipped my hair back it looks a little crazy but I'm gonna actually separate the bottom so I know which side is the T3 and I'm gonna um, make this hair that's over here just into like a ponytail so I know that's not a, a ponytail I chose this one like I told you guys because it looked pretty similar kind of sort of it's a little bit smaller this one's a little bit chunkier about the t3 and the design of it it is a beautiful wand you can tell it looks very high-end luxurious I love the white mixed with the rose gold I mean what girl wouldn't love that they did a really good job I think on it and just making it look super pretty and girly when you put your attachment on this comes separately the base and you pick your attachment you put it on you twist it into place and then you turn this right here I don't know if you guys will be able to see but like you rotate it and it locks and of course like don't change this wand until it's completely cooled down because you do not want to burn your hands off this also comes with a glove I don't use gloves when I curl my hair so I'm not going to use that because that's never what I usually use but if you feel safer use the glove okay so it's gonna be a little bit hard to see the full length of my hair because I can only go so far back and my hair is super long so I'll just like lift it up and show you guys I'll also stand up later so it's easier to see um so let's start I'm just gonna take like a inch chunk when I want more of like a ringlet kind of curl I keep it flat on the wand Another thing I will say that I love about it is it heats up very quickly, which is nice if you're in a rush. Okay, I'm going to take another piece and again, just laying it flat on the barrel and make sure they don't overlap each other. Just keep it in my hand and yeah, it does burn my hand a little bit, but you could wear the glove. Maybe I should have worn the glove, eh, whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to release it. Ooh, wow. That gave a really nice curl. This thing works quick is what I am noticing. It's a little hard to get the hang of it first, but you'll get used to it. The only thing with these wands that are smaller at the bottom is that they slide down the barrel so easily and it's a pain in the butt, but 
I just try my best to keep it at the top and then work my around, but it somehow always falls down. I'm gonna do my first strand with the Remington. And just same thing, I wrap it around and I leave a little bit out, like an inch, two inches. This is on also 410, so it's technically the same heat as the T3. But I feel like um, I have to hold this here longer. I'm just going to speed up the rest of this hair curling because it's pretty repetitive and you guys uh, saw me do it a couple times, so let's speed it up. So I just finished curling the bottom parts of my hair. I did the Remington. You guys know I already did the T3. I'm going to stand up and show you guys. Looking at the Remington side, I feel like the curls look just as shiny and really frizz free as the T3 side. Um, and the curl size is going to be slightly different because this wand is a bit thicker than the T3 like uh, attachment I had on. So this is T3 side with that smaller wand and then this is the Remington side so there's a little comparison I think they both have the same amount of shine to them I feel like both sides look good I feel like this side still looks good and the T3 side looks um, good as well I definitely think I'm gonna more so use the bigger curling barrel because this curl is just a little bit a little bit too tight for me. This is now that the bottom is done, I'm going to take out the top and I'm just going to separate it again. And since my Remington is already plugged in, I'm just going to do that one first. So for this side, I'm going to go back to T3, but I'm going to switch the barrel just because I want to test them. The ones that I got, since we already saw what the smaller one looked like. So I'm going to try now the one inch straight barrel. This is what it looks like. So all you do is you just like line up these little four prongs in here and snap it in. And then I'm going to twist the base to lock and then just press the button and it's going to start heating up. This piece in the front, I did not do a good job on, or I just, I don't like how it looks. It's way too curly and, like, too close up here. Um, this thing is powerful, man. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to get so curly. I'm just trying to, like, brush it out a little bit because, yeah, that's a little bit better. I don't want to have too much curl in the front. Okay, guys, so this is the finished result. Um, this side is definitely a heck of a lot curlier, but, again... This is smaller than the Remington one. So here is the final result on my hair. So we have the T3 side and we have the Remington side. So again, this one is definitely chunkier. So this is skinnier. Um, so that is why the curls are a little bit more like ringly on this side. 
but I have a feeling that this is going to last a bit longer. It just seems so much more curled. This side is looser, which is definitely a look that I really like and enjoy. I do not think there is anything wrong with the Remington wand. I think it is still amazing. I totally recommend this, and I think this is like a must-have. If you love curling your hair with a curling wand, this is like the best. The T3, I'm trying to decide if I think it's worth it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I would spend $270 on this. I mean, everyone loves this and recommends it because I do think it is super powerful. It heats up so quickly. It works really well. It takes like two seconds. You don't have to wait for it to make your curl. It like you wrap it around and then three seconds and you're done. Like you are good to go. There's really honestly not a lot of waiting with this. So it definitely cuts your hair time in half, cuts your hair curling time in half. So that's the final result, you guys, with my hair. This was really fun and interesting to do. I hope you guys liked it. And I think if you told someone that you spent $270 on a curling wand, they would probably think you were certifiably crazy. <laughs> but yeah, this is my little test on this bougie T3 curling wand. I'm going to keep trying it. I'm definitely going to test out the bigger barrel. So I'm hoping that the um, T3 ones are going to stay in place you know after I sleep it means less heat damage on my hair the less I have to recurl it again the next thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you did and I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye